all right in the last session we have seen this keyword part 2 so let us continue so we have seen this lag this dot lag and this dot attach okay so let's remove this it's, we have already done okay now it's time for us to understand the this dot parameters okay so let me open the step definitions two step definitions okay so let's say i have one uh, we can say one step definition okay see here let's say login page okay so for us this particular steps can be implemented across different spec definitions it is not mandatory that okay this dot login features what are all the steps we have we should implement only in login page there is no such a rule right <laughs> sorry few things can be go to the other spec definitions I mean spec files, right? Sometimes we have to share some variables and all. Okay. So this time we'll run only one file. Okay. So we'll take only login feature. Let's talk about user is on login page. Okay. This particular step is written inside of a login page spec. Now you have defined some variable here in this particular it block. Sorry, given block. Let's say let a equal to 10 okay let a equal to 10 and you want to use this in the home page spec generally what we do lot of work will be there we have to declare at the so generally we define at a global level and we do import and all it does that will be a very delicious process that's what we are doing at the page also slowly we'll remove that concept but idea here is the complexity here is for every each we will be using so many variables so we cannot start doing import and exports right so now to share the values between the especially the steps right so you can use this parameter for example for us the first is user is on login page here i will say this dot parameters okay dot a i'm appending an object okay equal to 10 equal to 10 equal to 10 so now i want to use this particular value let's say somewhere here logout is successful now what we will do console log console log okay so here value is value is so we can make use of the same thing so see here dollar as we are using the string template concept so value is this dot here and this is available in login page right login page same thing what i'm gonna do i want to use this variable here somewhere after the logout i want to do that i just copy pasted it and this is going to be home page you can use anywhere for example i want to use here this is also home page okay so what we are going to do let's comment out this step because it will fail so what we are going to do we will put the debug point here at the initialization part here so that we can see the console log in the other step definition in two places here and then here okay so let's time let's do the debugging here okay cd cucumber npm test npm test hyphen hyphen env equal to key so it will stop here let's see execution has started we are not bothered about it okay our focus is here so now keep the cursor over here there is nothing no parameters are got added once you execute this statement and you keep the cursor over here you can see a is got added now now only thing is that whether we can use this in the other steps or not maybe in the same file maybe in the different files let's see let's continue click on the continue and see 
Now this has stopped at the different spec file. So we are curious about this particular will is accessible or not. See here, home page value is 10. Where we have initialized? We have initialized here in this particular spec file. In somewhere the some def, some step give user is on the login page. Where we are using in the different spec, the two home page is on the home page should be displayed that particular step. Right? How useful it is. It's kind of sharing context. I would say the word may be wrong, context. It's like you are using a variable across different spec files, different steps, so that you don't need to declare global variables, export and import, you don't need to do all those things, right? Okay, let us continue. We have one more step to be verified. Upon logout also we can check. You can see upon logout. Let's see what is the value we are going to get it. Okay, let us continue. See here, again we came back to the login page, right? Here also the value is login page is 10. Login page value is 10. So like this, you can share the you know, uh, variables we can say are share the variables across different steps and across across the different files also. And you might be thinking, can we do the same thing with the page objects so that we will initialize the page objects and assign it to the uh, you know parameters and make use of it? Yes, it will work, but it is not recommended. We will see a good approach where we can learn about good context sharing concept of especially the page objects right so if you remember this this login page is being initialized in login spec page a spec file same thing here also generally do we do like this in real time no we have to share the context so that we don't need to create the object every time but should we do using this particular parameter concept yes it will work 100 percent if you say this that parameter this that parameter dot login page equal to new login page means it will work i'm under i'm 100 sure you can also try but it is not recommended okay so thanks for watching see you in the next lecture